Hi again, TG Tech here. Uh, another video. I'm just kind of making these videos off the cuff as I do stuff. I figure, hey, let's make a video. So I got a bunch of new uh, holders, drill trucks. I got two of them. Uh, well, the, the drill trucks are old, but the DT30 holders are new. So I thought it'd be a good time to show how to call a program and the little macro that I wrote, well not macro, but program that I wrote, uh, instead of manually entering it each time, uh, I, just, I just made it a program. Uh, so it's just a little easier I find. So I want to make uh, the two drill trucks I have, uh, I just decided I'd make them two 11 and 12. And I'll just leave the trucks in there and, you know, switch out the drills as I need. Um, so yeah, so I got this program in there right now. The way to change programs is in uh, edit mode. You can maybe do it in other modes, but I think edit mode is the way to do it. Um, actually, by the way, if you go to the alarms page, there's where alarms would be. Page down. Uh, there's your clock of how much hours are in your machine. And the, the, what they call the directory where uh, all your programs that are loaded in right now. So I got a bunch in there. Um, so the one that is going to do my change is the 07001. It says tool. So <laughs> that's why I chose 7001. It kind of looks like the word tool. So uh, yeah. So to pull that program up, Right now, as you can see, the program in memory is 1301. So you go back to the programs page, and then O, and then your uh, program number. In my case, tool, 07001. And then cursor down, there you go. So here's the program for your tool change. Uh, now, this is specific for the Yasnak MX3 on a Hyundai or Hyundai SPT V30T. I believe the V30D, I think it's called, the one with the pallet changer, probably uses the same uh, code. So you can kind of copy that down if you have this machine. Um, so, yeah, here we go. So, uh, that program's loaded. Um, I'll override just so, I don't know, why not? So go into auto, as it's kind of noisy because um, when the head goes up, the air stays on, releasing the pull stud puller, I guess it's called. Uh, and it, you know, the air stays on the whole time the head is up in the uh, tool change, manual tool change position. But what happens is when that, uh, it's going to be noisy, so that's what I'm telling you now. Um, when it goes up, then you can use this button here called uh, Magazine Turn. Uh, to turn the magazine, uh, or the tool changer in other words. I don't know why they call it a magazine, but whatever. Uh, you know, and then you can manually, with two hands, and you pull down on the arm. So you pull just manually like this down. Actually, no wait, you don't have to. I just remembered. You don't have to pull it down. That's the whole thing. You can just slide the tool in. So, yeah, I was thinking I'd have to put the camera down, but I think I can do it. So, um, yeah, let me try. Here we go. You gotta go into jog.
Okay, there we go. I don't think you can hear me, so I was kind of doing the pointing thing. Uh, you gotta just kind of wiggle the tool a little bit, make sure that the, um, the key inside there picks it up. So it's sitting in the right position. There we go. It's all in there. Um, so that's how I do it. So now at 211 and 12 are my drill chucks. Uh, and I have some more tools to load, but I'll do that off camera. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to go back to my program. I'll show you that one more time. So in uh, edit mode, program, O, uh, 1301 is the one I want to run. Uh, cursor down. There we go. Now I got my 1301 program back in. Um, what else do I want to show you? I think that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to uh, put some put the drill in, actually the spot drill. So I'm going to put this uh, spot drill into one of those uh, drills for now. And then I'll maybe come back and show uh, drilling and tapping this uh, part. Okay, thanks for watching.